What's going on everyone? What's the crack? Welcome back to another player review slash training guide. So a lot of people have been asking me for the Japanese Asian Cup Qatar 23 selection player review and guide. I'm going to talk you through the players that I think are worth it. Obviously you can clear the limit. You can clear the players here with the limit of 11 players if you want to spin for them all. There are some nice players. I'm going to hide my face cam there. Um, it's absolutely bitter cold here, lads. I'm in my jacket because I'm nearly, I'm going out the gap of to head into the office. But before that, we wanted to get this video done. I think Endo and Matoma are probably the two best picks of that. But there's a couple of players that I want to talk about in here as well, right? So on my main profile, you obviously get one free spin. I spun for Taniguchi. So if we are going to be covering him first, just to kind of get him out of the way, we are going to head over to eFootballDB. Biggest problem with a lot of these Japanese players, lads, is, as you guessed it, they have very little player skills. Now, this isn't a massive concern if you're not used to... I suppose if you were playing Road to Glory, it's not a huge concern um, to have little player skills because you can always give them to players. But I do feel like any center back needs blocker and interception. And Taniguchi has neither. He also doesn't really have a great height for a build-up player. Um, he's got a wavering form. But he's just an average CB. You know, this isn't going to really... I wouldn't be clearing the pack for him. Obviously, if, you, if you're looking to get Matoma or somebody, um, or one of the big boys, he's a fairly decent player. Now, when we actually go over here to eFootball DB, that is how we've trained him up. So 10 into lower body, that's going to give you 80 speed. And of course, we're also going to have 5 into aerial strength, which will give you 85 physical contact with the manager boost, and 14 into defend him. That's going to give you every defensive stat as best as you possibly can. Now, heading and uh, jump is still not great. So I don't feel like that he's one of the best ca best cards here, right? And there's a lot of cards like this in this pack, right? We also have another center back here, Nakayama. This guy is kind of in a similar position, right? Where you're not really going to be using him too well, I don't think, as a build-up. Both of these guys um, are very, very similar. This guy has got inconsistent form, even though he's kind of similar height. He has no player skills. So for me, a lot of this comes down to how you're actually going to be playing with that inconsistent form, I don't even think he's worth building, but that is the build that we've gone for there, because he does have some nice stats. Remember, you're going to hit that 80 speed again, you're going to hit that 80 jump, you're also going to have the tackling at 88, and the rest of the stats at 94, 95. It's not a bad card, but I just feel like that there's a lot of these cards um, that can kind of like, you know, coexist with each other if you really want to make a Japanese type team, right? You're really kind of going to be spinning in this, and you should be only spinning in this for the big time players right so just to cover a few of those as well we have asano this guy is just your traditional kind of uh winger right so you're not going to be asking too much out of this guy either it's just going to be pure pace and power super sub makes it a little bit better uh if you wanted to use that he does have a proper face build as well in the game this is the build that we've gone for for him there four into shooting 13 into dribbling and dexterity and then six into lower body that's going to give you a build with 90 speed 95 acceleration 88 balance 90 dribbling 80 type possession, finishing at 78. It's not a meta card, but it can be a fun card to use as well. I would also say as well that if you are looking for Matoma in this pack, he is probably the pick of them. But where you really might actually be surprised is some of the options here, right? So we did cover as well Tanaka, this guy. I think I covered him in another video, but just to give you a quick roundup of him, he's down as an anchorman DMF. He doesn't have blocker, but he has interception and man marking. This is the build that we've gone for with Tanaka here. So you've got 4, 6, 6, 9, 4, 14, and 1, starting with passing and ending with goalkeeper 1. That's going to give you a fairly nice build. Again, you've got that 80 speed. You've got really high stamina. All your defensive stats are going to be into the 90s, apart from defensive awareness, which you can kind of cover. Defensive awareness is important, but not as important as it is if you're playing a CB. You know, a CB is more important to have that defensive awareness if it's a non-destroyer. If it's a destroyer CB, you don't need to worry about it too much. But if it is a destroyer CB... Um, or sorry, if it's a destroyer CB, you don't need to worry too much about it because you can manually control it. Um, so that kind of rounds off those first four or five, right? Now, I've been really, really impressed with Endo since we got him. We actually got him in our second profile. He's a beast, man. I've been very, very, very impressed with Endo. I think he's definitely one of the picks of the pack here. Unwavering form. He's on B rating this week. He also has some fairly nice player skills. If you give him blocker, he's one of the best anchormen in the game, especially if you're looking for something a, a bit different. He's very mobile. Now, he's not as fast as some other anchormen, but he's also not as slow as Rodri or uh, Fabinho or Casemiro, which I see a lot of people using. So this is the build that we've gone for with Endo. So it's three into passing and dribbling, four into dexterity, nine into lower body, seven into aerial, 
and then 13 into defending with one into goalkeeper one that's going to give you a very beastly player all his defensive stats are going to be in the 90s with a huge 97 tackling and then his speed and acceleration perfectly balanced at 75 apiece 76 if you've got 10 hag similarly we've got kubo here who's down as a right midfielder we've gone for a build of 95885 90 ball control 91 dribble and that's without the boost of course you're going to have that 90 tight possession with the boost 85 finishing with the boost balance and acceleration are going to be over 90 this is a very 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 strong center forward which is where i would play him so endo's a really good dmf but i think kubo as a cf would have been really good if you could play him there instead you're going to have to play with him as an ss he does have one touch pass he has double touch soul control you could give him flip flap if you wanted to, to have that ball roll he's got really nice passing skills with true passing he's got shooting skills with long range curler and outside curler very very nice card as well um that i've used quite a bit in the past not this version but different versions of him right uh we also have matoma that we're going to focus on here so this version of matoma in the database at the moment i think is more kind of suited for people that like to dribble rather than just pure pace he has ball roll, he has first time shot, he's got scotch move and outside curler, he's got scissors feint, he's a real ball dribble centric Roman flank type player. So he's not down as a prolific winger, so make sure that you know uh, how that they kind of play. If you want me to see you do a video on prolific winger versus Roman flank, let me know in the comments below. Um, but it's a very solid card, lots of player skills, one of my favorite cards to use in the early days of eFootball 2022. Does he compare with the likes of you know, the classy, classy wingers. That is up to you guys. I think they've nerfed a lot of the dribbling now at the moment. So Matoma is definitely one of those that has got like brilliant stick, sticky feet is what I would call him. The ball's just glued to his feet. Kind of like Musiala. Is he as good as Musiala? Probably not, but they're different positions. So that's the build we've gone for there. 9-3, 11, 9, 7. That's going to give us 90 plus balance, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, finishing at 85, speed at 85, or 86 with 10 hag, and of course 95 acceleration, which is quite decent. I've been slightly kind of impressed with Ito since I got his legend card. This card isn't as good, but you're still going to hit those marks apart from the balance at 90. If you're struggling with a, a dribble-centric right midfielder or left midfielder or any wingers or center forwards or attacking midfielders, do try to get tight possession, balance, and acceleration in the 90s. And then if you can get finishing or low pass up into the like 85 mark, that's going to be a beastly player. That's where the meta is at at the moment with tight possession, tight play, okay? Then last but not least, lads, after we covered Ito there, who doesn't have that many skills um, apart from super sub that are really going to come into it. He does have heel trick, dip and shot, true pass and pinpoint crossing. If you're playing him as a winger, that's going to come in handy with the pinpoint crossing. It's a nice card, but you do need to do a little bit of work on him. Last but not least, we do have this guy and this guy, Morita and Oeda. So this is just your traditional kind of attack or uh, center forward, right? Um, I don't rate him that much. We'll, we'll get to the one of the top picks in this in a second but this guy's just a traditional center forward you're going to have 90 finishing 90 acceleration we'll show you the build there and then we also on top of that we also have morita who's down as a dmf so similar to um endo who i think endo is slightly better this guy's got better pace he's got 80 speed uh he's got 92 stamina with the boost and then all his defensive stats will just be a little bit under endo right but one of the picks of them that i've been really impressed with lads is minamino i've seen a lot of people sending clips to me about minamino the ex liverpool man very very solid card right he's got a lot of fairly unique player skills so he's got cut behind and turn with double touch he's got dip and shot long range shooting acrobatic finishing but he's also got one touch pass true passing and long range curler with outside curler as well as track back he can play in a lot of positions cf ss amf left wing right wing he's down as a whole player i think this is the underrated gem of the of the pack to be honest with you uh, i think his stats are absolutely insane when you take a look at his stats here with those player skills right look at the stats that we have here to round off this japanese review and training guide we have gone for four into shooting eight into passing and dexterity 12 into dribbling and seven into lower body strength that is going to give you a monster. Uh, you're going to have 90 tight possession. You're going to have 90 balance. You're going to have 90 plus acceleration, which we talked about having those players really, really nice feet. 80 finishing, 80 plus low pass. You're also going to have nearly 90 ball control. Offensive awareness is going to be high. Speed is high. Stamina is high. It's an, ex it's an exceptional card if you do end up getting him, right? There's a lot of cards that are attacking midfielders that will do the job for you. But if you do actually get Minamino in a free spin he's a beast man definitely is a beast right so that is it for the japanese pack i'm going to do a super pack video where i cover a few of these with all the player guides okay um so bear with me as i work through these but i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe 
I've been pleasantly surprised with some of the Japanese players. Uh, they are really, really solid. Natoma can rip it up if you actually learn how to play with him and dribble with him. Minamino's a beast. Endo's a beast since I put him into my Road to Glory squad. He has been a tank for me. So let me know if you spun or skipped the Japanese pack. Next up, we'll do a trio of packs and then we'll work our way through this in a big, long video. So bear with me as we get through it, lads. Until then, I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.